Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Here's the original brass from Eagle Griffin Games. I just kind of want to do a little bit of an up unboxing. Fred Distribution here. That's an old thing. You don't really hear much anymore. I, the box feels wonderful. I like the look of it. I like the little guy on it holding up. Looks really neat. You're going to get a rule book. Now, this thing is fairly thick, but that's because it's in a few different languages. So we'll kind of open it up. Here's the English. Uh, you can see an example of the tiles and what they do, etc. And if you ever played a Martin Wallace game, this is this is exactly what you'd expect. Picture of components, the board, how to start the game, the quick overview, and how to play through this. Very wordy, as you can see, it's kind of a deeper game. There are pictures and examples, some details of the cards that will be played, etc. And it goes through, and then there's a guide on how to play the game, and then a player aid sheet that will be back here. I don't know how useful this is unless you're going to fold it over. There you go. You're going to get a bunch of these tiles. You can see they're very thick. These are very nice tiles that you have in here. And you have, now the font on them are a little bit smaller than what you would expect. You can tell right here that it has the poundage on it. That's how much money it's worth, etc. And then you have these little train tiles. Everything in here is very, very nice. And you're going to have one set of these uh, in each of the colors that you're going to see. And the numbers across the bottom of these are going to be different because they're not going to be for the different players as you go through. Then you're going to have a giant board that will lay out. We'll take a look at this in just one second. Then you're going to have a custom insert here, it looks like, that you can kind of put your things in as you see fit. And there's a little bit of a lid, lid like this. This was really popular for a little bit to have an insert like this. I think companies have gone away from it. You're going to have a number of cards that you can see here, all with the artwork from the game on it. You're going to have different locations. If you ever played a Martin Wallace game, these look very, very familiar down to the font. And the pictures, while not repeated, look, you know, it just, it just has that style to it, as you can see of what you have here. The icons at the top is really what you're looking for. Then you have some artwork that will go along with it. Uh, this is a very classic Martin Wallace that you're going to have here. You're going to get some cubes and circular things here. Nothing to write home about. These were very popular components in the old days. Now it's kind of keen to have the shape of everything that you're going to have. But this is what we used to get. And it looks like you got some really, really nice metal coins in here. These things are, wow, these things are really heavy and nice. So it looks like you got some ones and some fives. And I mean, this, this feels like real currency. These are, these are super, super nice. And you got a whole big bag of what you're going to have in here. So these are great components. And to be quite honest, not what I expected to find in here. So here's the board you're going to have. You're going to have a track over here with income. You can see it's very easy. This is a very clean board. They don't put a lot of artwork on it to kind of distract you from what's going on. You can see two-player rule modification over here. Then up here, you're going to have the name and some things that you'll have. And you can see all the connections here. And then it's a double-sided board. So you can see when you're playing multiplayer or even more players, it's a little bit bigger of a board, bigger tracks, a little bit more going on. So it's nice that they took the time to give us a double-sided board here. So this isn't a review of brass. It's just an unboxing video I kind of wanted to show you. What was in the original, some people are going to want to seek out the new version of this. I thought seeing what was in the old version may tell you, hey, look, the components are pretty good. I don't need that upgraded thing. Or maybe you look at this and you just want to run away and you want the new version. So I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing of this and kind of seeing what comes in it. Those coins really stand out. And the color scheme on this is quite a bit different. And it has that traditional Martin Wallace, Eagle Griffin look of it that they used to put out in their game. So if you like that, this is going to be the version for you, and this is Brass.